That wasn't planned or well executed. But that's the intro. Hey, um, this is the long awaited video about my computer. But also because personally, that's not very interesting. You don't need a big computer to do well in 3D. I know that's probably annoying to hear, but also I'm gonna be showing every hardware and software I use to make daily 3D art. Uh, if you've never heard of me, I make uh, weekly tutorials uh, about 3D animation in Blender. Uh, so it's gonna be everything, but we're gonna start with the computer, then we're gonna go into software, then we're gonna go into hardware like this mic, like tripods, like desks and headphones and all speakers and all that stuff. So we're gonna get into that. Um, so without any further waiting, let's do it. So right here on the screen, you're going to see all the components of my computer. I'm not a super tech savvy guy. I'm more of an artist. I'm more of a software guy. Um, but with the budget that I had when I built this computer, this is what I was told you should get. Um, and it's an awesome computer. Now I'm going to say this only once. There are no sponsored, there's no sponsorships in this video at all. I have, uh, I have worked with Asus and I've worked with Nvidia, which are two things that I currently use in my setup, but they did not ask me to talk about these. Um, I'm using the tech because it's actually high quality, good tech. Um, and there's some other stuff, but no sponsorships anywhere in this video in case you're wondering. <laughs> all right. So that's the computer we got out of the way. Um, I did it in under the two minute and uh, two and a half minute average attention span. Um, so if you want to click away, feel free to. Now we're going to get into the software and hardware. Now, my favorite thing about making tutorials is the thumbnail. I love thumbnails. So I'm using Photoshop for all of my thumbnail design. And I know there's a lot of open source fans that are not going to like that I use Adobe. I only use Adobe because that's what I was taught in college. I have a BFA in graphic design and I just don't have the time to learn another software. Um, I'm sure it would save me time. I have nothing against other softwares. Some way, someday I'll probably phase out of Adobe. Um, speaking of Adobe, all of my editing is done in Premiere. Uh, text animations, those are done in After Effects. And um, there's a plugin that I love that saves me hours of time. It's called Animation Composer. If you've seen moving animated text, it's done in Animation Composer. Um, when it comes to music for my videos, I use a really awesome service called Upbeat. And honestly, if Upbeat wanted to sponsor me, I would take it. Um, they're, I, I can't say enough good things about them. They are awesome. Um, and what's a really cool feature about them is the, the content, the music they have is copyrighted. But a very cool feature of the website is you, if you're paying for their service, you can whitelist your account. You just send, you put the link in, they whitelist your account so they'll never copyright strike you. So it's like great for the musicians that are in upbeat and great for guys like me we'll never have to worry about getting copyrighted and we have high quality great music so it's just a great service and it's not super expensive um for project management task management idea remembering is notion um one of one thing that i struggle with is remembering all the places that i need to post uh, the link or graphics for a new video every time i upload a new video i'm uploading to reddit discord um blender nation all those places so notion uh, my business manager set up a really cool notion page where I can check box off things. And, and also I use Notion. If I hit, get an idea, I'll put it in my Notion thing and then I'll, you know, save them. And then there's, we can say, oh, I need to write this one. Or I need to record this. One, I need to edit this one, whatever. So Notion is awesome for just like even that rudimentary stuff. But I use Notion for a lot of other business stuff as well. So it's really cool. All right. That is software. Let's hop into hardware. This is just going to be random. But the desk tripod, um, if you're seeing my this is if this is the first ducky 3d video you're seeing this angle i've never done i usually have the camera on my desk but i need a small tripod for that so i'm using the victive mini tripod that's not the official name but it's it's a by a company called victive got it on amazon and i was shocked at high at how high the quality was on this thing for the price I think this is the greatest value for a tripod I've ever seen. I mean, the components are fluid and nice and not clanky. I mean, it's just a smooth, nice, small tripod, and it's just absolutely perfect. I love it. Um, my mouse I'm using is the MX Master 3. I've been using it for about two and a half years. No problems. It's comfortable. It's ergonomic. It is expensive. Um, but honestly, if you can afford it, and I do want to draw the line there, only buy what you can afford. If you can afford it, it is maybe the best mouse you can get um, because it's going to last you forever. It's high quality. It's not going to give you carpal tunnel or whatever it is. And it's really good. It's got cool modes. It's got cool features. And it's a great mouse. Now, when it comes to my workflow, um, my camera is the, the camera you're looking through right now is plugged into a cam link. And what's cool about the cam link 
is it's this thing that I plug into USB on my computer, then I put an HDMI from the camera to the computer, and now the computer recognizes it as my webcam. So not only am I using it for videos, but I'm using it for video calls, Discord, all that stuff, but what makes it so easy is the Sony a7 III, which is what I'm using, does not have a, uh, a screen that flips back. So I can't see if I'm in focus, but I can see it massively on my screen. I can see myself right next to OBS. It's a perfect workflow. Pop that card out, pull it in, edit. It's great. And it's an, so the, the Camlink 4K is an awesome piece of tech. A friend got it for me for Christmas and it's such a great gift. And you can get it for your camera. You can use your camera as a webcam. My microphone, this guy is the Blue Bluebird. It is super cool looking. It's just kind of the vintage look. It's my, the first XLR mic I have, uh, I mean, I've ever gotten, and I don't think I'll need a new one for a long time. It is awesome. Again, love the way it looks. It sounds great. It is just what I need. And it wasn't super, maybe it was expensive. I don't remember the price. It was like 300 bucks, maybe less. I don't know. Whatever it was, it was worth the money. I've had this thing forever. Um, it's great. My desk here is a really nice, inexpensive desk. I got on Amazon. I'm going to try to say the name Bond Agro Industrial Home Office Desk, whatever. I'm going to paste all this stuff in there in the description. Um, it's a great desk, inexpensive. It's dope. I've had it for like a year and a half, and it's great. Now, my speakers are the Yamaha HS5s. The 5 stands for a 5 inch speaker. Um, a little, little, little round part, I guess it's 5 inches or whatever. I don't know what that means, but they're great. Um, they're honestly way more than I need, uh, but I like listening to music along with editing my vocals, so it's just great for what I got. And Yamaha is just a standout brand. Speaking of speakers, we have my headphones. Um, oops, went back to the top of my list. Let's go back, let's go back. Um, headphones are the Sennheiser HD 560Ss. Um, they're really nice, just over-the-ear uh, headphones and... They're not noise canceling whatsoever, but I'm alone in my apartment. I don't need to be noise cancel uh, canceling. And honestly, if someone's breaking into my house while I'm editing video, I'll hear them. But these are just phenomenal headphones. The quality Sennheiser is a very reliable brand, and those headphones are just amazing. Uh, audio interface is the Focusrite uh, 2i2. It's another thing more where it's more than I need, but I needed an audio interface for an XLR microphone. And this was perfect. I had a kind of annoying, bad quality one before. This one just worked as soon as I plugged it in. No issues. It is a awesome audio interface. Now, the this microphone arm, this guy right here, it's the Aoki, the Steve Aoki AK60 Professional USB Streaming Podcast. Can I just read this whole Amazon listing. Here it is. This is what it says. Aokio AK60 professional USB streaming podcast microphone with AK36 suspension arm, uh, scissor arm stand, shock mount, pop filter, foam cover for Skype, YouTube, karaoke, gaming, recording, and Discord. There's your masterclass in SEO, Amazon. Um, what a what a crazy title, but it's a great arm and I use it. All right, the camera, I mentioned I, uh, Sony a7 III. It's awesome, it's a great full frame camera. It's another thing where it's more than I need, but I also don't use it just for YouTube videos. I like um, doing videos outside of YouTube just for my own personal stuff, recording, whatever, and it's awesome and I love it. Uh, the lens I'm using, the one you're seeing through right now is the Zeiss 24 to 70. It's a beautiful lens, it's awesome. Uh, it's more of like an investment piece for everything else that I do. So it's a great, great, lens. All right, now I have two different monitors here, which for those of you color grading guys are going to hate it, but I use two completely different monitors, but there's, it's just convenient. So this is the Asus ProArt uh, 32 display. It's 4K and it's awesome. Anything where color is important goes here uh, because it's just a great, it's honestly a very not only just well constructed, the quality on it is awesome. It is very high quality, uh, but the screen is high quality, everything there. And then this this screen here I got because I watch courses or I watch Netflix, uh, whatever, while I'm working. So that's what this screen is for. I don't, I'm not color grading on both screens. So that's the, the hopefully that makes you feel better if you were bothered by that. <laughs> I don't know. People get bothered by things. Um, this is an Acer. This is Asus. This is Acer. Um, 
they're great. This one's just drastically better than the Acer and they're completely different price points. Um, but that's everything. That's the video. That's the breakdown. I hope you got what you wanted out of this. If you hate everything that I said, because I remember the last time I made a video about, th about this, they just did not like what I had. I don't know. Feel free to tell me why you hate anything or tell me what you like. Or if you're in the comments, you're wondering, hey, what computer can I get? Should I buy? Ask that question. People will definitely answer you. Um, and that's it. If you're just starting out, get a gaming laptop. They're great. Um, that's my, really my best advice, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe if you're interested in 3D art tutorials, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.